So The Northman is an historical epic directed by Robert Eggers in which we follow Amoth, who in this film is portrayed by Alexander Skarsgård, who when he was a little boy, he witnessed his father being murdered right before his eyes. He escapes, but not before pledging to not only avenge his father's death, but to also help his mother escape. As you all can imagine, he comes back years later to carry out his plan. Alrighty guys, so let's get into The Northman. Excellent! I cannot tell you guys how long I have been waiting for this movie. I saw a specifically cut trailer back at CinemaCon, which by the way was presented by Robert Eggers himself, and the moment I saw that footage, I knew I needed to see this film, and plus, I'm a big fan of Robert Eggers. The Witch, as you all know, is in my top three horror films of the last decade, and The Lighthouse, I really dug. I didn't love it like I love The Witch, but The Lighthouse was still a really well-acted, really well-done psychological horror film. Plus, this was in my top five most anticipated movies of the year, so yeah, hyped was an understatement. Oh. My. God, I can't believe this movie exists. I mean, it's just, it's that freaking good. The performances in this movie are all outstanding. Alexander Skarsgård, Aya Terror Joy, as you all know. My main celebrity crush, don't, Austin, you're not gonna be with her, just saying. Nicole Kidman, Bjork, I mean, the cast of this movie, oh, Willem Dafoe in this movie. I have loved Aya Terror Joy ever since I saw her in The Witch, and I feel like with every single film role or every single TV role that I've seen her in, she's only gotten better and better and better. She gives a compelling performance in this movie. There's a couple of sequences where she does certain things and it blew me away. Willem Dafoe has a very small role in this movie, but his screen time is very, very impactful. And the repercussions of the actions of his character in this movie definitely have this bleeding effect throughout the entire film. Bjork is one of my favorite singers out there. I love her so much. When she is on screen, by the way, Bjork, again, she has a performance that you will not be able to take your eyes off. She has this very enchanting performance to her presence in this movie. There are two standouts in this movie for me. Nicole Kidman and Alexander Skarsgård. Nicole Kidman in this movie. Wow. Nicole Kidman is one of the greatest actresses out there, and she has given plenty, I mean plenty of great performances. Honest to God, guys, her performance in The Northman might be one of the best performances of her career. There are sequences in this movie that involve Nicole Kidman, in which you see her as this as this lovely and warm mother. But then the next minute, she turns on a dime, and there is a scene in this movie that gave me goosebumps with how good she was. Especially with this particular scene that I'm thinking of. I mean Obviously, the main standout here is Alexander Skarsgård as Amleth. It's a performance that's full of animosity, rage, the primal instincts in this character. I mean, you just look into Alexander Skarsgård's eyes, and you just see a character that has gone through just hell and back in this movie. He does a couple of things that have me going, Oh my god! <laughs> Something else that I absolutely loved about this movie is Robert Eggers' direction. Robert Eggers, I believe, is becoming to be one of the greatest filmmakers working today. The Northman, honest to God, might be my favorite work of his. It's like you're watching a fever dream, but the best fever dream possible. And then once you wake up for that fever dream, it's like you'll experience one of the most ferocious things in a long time. The way how he blocks out certain sequences, and by the way, I love the way how he shoots wonders in this movie, and yes, there are plenty of wonders in this movie. The atmosphere that Robert Eggers conveys in this movie, you feel like that you're in this time period with Alexander Skarsgård in the muck, in the mud, in Iceland, in the cold conditions. His vision is uncompromising, it's brutal, oh my god is this movie brutal, to which I will mention later on. While I was watching this film, guys, the way how Robert Eggers executes certain sequences, I was telling my buddy Real James, who was right next to me, I was saying to him, I cannot believe this movie exists. And it's incredible. Now that I think about it, guys, this is the best way I can describe his filmography really quick. When it came to his previous two films, The Witch and The Lighthouse, I felt like that those were his warm-up films. Then he was like, okay, guys, this is a studio film. I was given a big budget and a great cast. Now, you're gonna see me unhinged. And oh my word, it is 
glorious. The Northman story is a classic revenge tale. A son or even a daughter, if it was made that way, that witnesses their father or their mother dying right in front of their eyes. They escape and they pledge to come back years later to exact their quest for vengeance. It is your classic revenge tale, but the revenge tale has so many layers of depth to it. And even better, since it is a Viking tale and it does take place way back when. If you're a fan of Norse mythology like myself, there are certain aspects about the story that you are going to absolutely love. I can't say too much because I do want this to be vague, but trust me when I say this, guys. Combine a classic revenge tale with Norse mythology, you have something pretty freaking amazing here. Going on to the technical aspects, starting with the cinematography. How? The Northman cinematography is beyond gorgeous. This is one of the most impeccably shot films I have seen in a long time, honestly since the Green Knight last year, and you all know how much I love how the Green Knight looked. There are certain images that Robert Eggers captures with the cinematography and how he references the mythology. There are certain things that he puts on film in this movie that legitimately just blew my mind. I felt like I was going to Valhalla itself. The Northman primarily uses these coolish blue hues, but there are times when it goes to a more lavish green type of color palettes, or lush green, I should say, instead. And then there are parts when it goes into this red. I mean red. And it is just... Whoa! Let's talk about the action in this movie. The action of this movie is not only beautifully filmed and these wide angle shots, there's a few wonders, but as well, it is brutal and bloody action. There are certain action sequences in this movie where it goes really for the blood, and there's a couple of parts where everybody just went, oh! Oh! You saw the spear catch in the trailers if you've seen the trailers, but that spear catch is just one of the many amazing things that this movie has in store for you. And let me tell you all, that's just the tip of the spear in this movie. Pun intended, I just realized that. Do not get me wrong, this movie is uncompromising in terms of the vision that Robert Eggers wants to portray, but at the same time, it's never done to the point where it just feels like it's too grotesque for the sake of being grotesque. Also, oh my god, the soundtrack in this movie, the score in this movie, I want that freaking score right now. The music is inspired by the Viking music of those times with the drum beats and there are a couple of musical beats in this movie that I could not get out of my head. The Northman has a runtime of I believe 2 hours and 20 minutes, maybe just a little bit over, a little bit under that and I gotta tell you, this was the perfect runtime for the Northman. This movie has such a pace to it that it grips you and absorbs you and you're just locked onto that screen and the moment that ended i literally just went well that's just fucking great i mean i guess if there were any issues that i had and by the way this is just nitpicking if anything there's a scene in this movie that maybe goes up for a bit but even that nitpick doesn't take away my love for this movie at all and here we so overall, guys, when it comes to the Northmen, there are many words I'd use to describe this film, but I'm going to use four in particular. The Northmen is brutal, it's haunting, gorgeous, visceral, and I loved every moment of this movie. The moment that the first frame appeared on that screen, I was absorbed and I was transfixed right into the very, very end of this film. As you all could tell, I could gush about this movie for ages, but simply put, guys, all in all, I absolutely love The Northman, and I am absolutely going to give The Northman a 5 out of 5. I just... Robert Eggers... I need more, man. I cannot witness this movie again. So comment down below and let me know, 
What is your favorite historical epic of all time? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. I'm also on Snapchat. So if you want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links in the username are in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed my review of The Northman. If so, please hit that like button. Also subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell for my latest review goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until my next video or review goes live, I'll see you all next time.